Okay, off to Lloyd versus Chrono, and if you remember, Chrono actually completely, I, I think he destroyed Naruto, but Lloyd's, it appears that Lloyd's going to destroy him. So, oh, okay, uh, even stock counts, it appears that both of these characters are stupid as hell. But Lloyd just needs to get that one move to kill Chrono, and that's it, that's all she wrote. But I still have faith in Chrono, I think his stupid dash attack can win this. I've also realized something. Uh, in round two of this tourney, there's only been one match to actually not be a 3-0, and that was Zelda v. Fox. But don't worry, I think... Okay. Chrono with the first game taken of the set. Uh, it was a pretty close match. Uh, I'm quite curious to see how they will play on other stages, as this was the only flat stage in of the, le of the legal rule set. Anyways, on to the next game. Okay, going to Battlefield. Lloyd, interesting pick. Uh, I mean, this is his stage, or at least this is the good stage where he can destroy the multi-men in the melee. But, uh, it looks like he's getting destroyed right now by Chrono. Which is kind of sad, because I was really expecting the, number, the top three character to actually make it to top three in the tournament, deep down in my heart. But it doesn't appear that he's going to do it, if he gets beaten by Chrono, at least. I don't know. Because it's still an even game, jeez. But, oh, that's it. That's it, yep, okay. Lloyd won, Chrono won. This might be the most even match, or, yeah, the most even set of the tourney since Mario vs. Sonic. Anyways, on to the next match. Both players have such a huge respect for each other, they're not taking this seriously. They're going to Peach's Castle, one of the jankiest stages in existence, at least in this game. Not going to, not going to... Oh, is that it? Is that it? Nope, that's not it. And, okay, Chrono getting out of there just in time. He doesn't die to that side, at least. And he takes the stock off Lloyd. Uh, I'm not quite sure if Chrono's going to be able to take this one, or at least hold on to his stock for that much longer. But I still think that Lloyd is going to lose. Oh, okay. It's Lloyd. He's on his last stock. This kind of, this could be a three stock. It could not be a three stock. It could be a two stock. If Chrono decides to want to not get hit, but uh, not looking likely because he already has 140%, and that's going to be it. That's game three. Chrono 2, Lloyd 1. On to the next game. Okay, they're going to Pokemon Stadium. Lloyd said, nah, fam. I don't want. I have, I have enough. I'm not doing any casual stuff. I want to win. And Lloyd doing some dash dancing, trying to psych his opponent out, and Chrono getting the dash attack, and two dash attacks. Almost knocking Lloyd off stage entirely, but Lloyd manages to get on, and that's going to be it. That's going to be the first stock taken of this game. Lloyd doing more dash dancing, but he fails to edge guard Chrono, but he does get him there. Maybe that was his original plan, but it does not matter because he just got zero to death. I think. Uh, this could be the last game of the set if Lloyd doesn't win this. If Chrono wins this, he's going on to the next game to fight whomever he may be fighting. But if he doesn't, this is going to the fifth game. That's not going to be it. If Lloyd manages, managed to get the edge guard, that would have been it. Sadly, though, Lloyd lost. He's going to lose his bracket, and Chrono is going back into winner's bracket. And Chrono, I'm really surprised at how well he's doing. I thought it was AI was just complete garbage. But I'm not quite sure how far he's going to go in this tourney. Anyways, that is all for this episode. No special match this time because this map because this set was actually pretty decent. This wasn't a 3-0, this wasn't just complete demolition. But anyways, ciao for now. Bye.